All right, welcome back. It's me, Park Wizard here, and we're back with another Velocicoaster update. It hasn't. It's been a while since we've done one, so I'm super excited about this. As always, credit to Bio Reconstruct on Twitter for these lovely pictures, and boy, oh boy, is it progressing really fast, almost to the finish line. They finished basically all the major touches. They're just working on the tiny theming and details of the attraction as we head to the finish line and they're doing like nightly testing not every night but i guess on select nights they're doing some extensive testing um, so hopefully in the next month or two that'll go into daytime testing so we can see what it looks like while the beautiful velocity trains are testing as you can see this is that first half of the attraction we'll get to the, that a little bit later in more detail but look at that lovely uh lovely rock work it looks Amazing, you see the coast track goes in and out, in and out of that route, which is made great. Here's an overhead view of the entire project site from the beginning to the cage segment to the end to the 540 helix right there. And there's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter chilling right over there. And that's just an overview of the attraction. We'll get more into closer detail. Right now, about the queuing area and the guest viewing area, about at the lake. And here we go right now. Here's the launch as you coming out of that tunnel into the top hat, and then it goes right um, to that uh, the right entrance is that kind of that r r that cage, that kind of raptor cage area on to the bottom right by the discovery center. They're putting up the steel for that right now. And guests will enter there. The main queue will be inside and the extended queue will be coming out there. But that'll be the rides entrance. And there's the concept art and the concept video that we broke down um, about what the ride will look like. That will actually have like flames to to like torches on either side, just like the Jurassic World entrance does here at Universal Studios Hollywood, so that'll be pretty cool at nighttime. Um, especially the lighting package on this coaster should be amazing. Here's a closer look at the entrance. You again, right front and center is that extended queue area, that open air kind of cage-like area. The rest is just a viewing area for riders, or uh, rider, potential riders or watchers can watch the coaster um, come up and over the top hat and then come um, from the barrel roll into the final segment of the ride as well. Moving on to one last segment here. There's just one more overview of that launch segment in the top hat and the final uh, final turn into the cage-like segment where the raptors are rumored to be chasing you in there as well. And we'll see more raptors in just a few uh, moments here as you'll be within five feet of at least three raptors at one point in the ride and they'll all happen within about a second of each other so that's who should be quite intense quite uh jump scary uh quite the jump scare when that happens as you see they installed the fencing on the concrete panels so they installed more concrete panels on the bottom right by the lake and they installed the fencing that orange cage fencing right there for all the people watching the ride or the Velocicoaster heading up to that final turn. As we get a good look at the beautiful barrel roll, final barrel roll and final inversion before the ride ends, you can see they're selling some more trees, they're little baby trees that will be growing in nicely over the next couple of years over by that fence as well. In the back by the tower, you can see more theming for the actual show building and HVAC has been installed and looks just about complete which is awesome just more and more and more progress done I'm super excited for this to open up in a few years uh, a few months and to say summer 2021 and people are like oh my god that's so far away but when you think about it it's November summer 2021 and theme parks usually just like kind of starts Memorial Day weekend that's that unofficial start to summer so Memorial Day weekend uh, is only really let's see seven months away so they're still finishing up some small things and they're doing continuous testing. So definitely a late spring, 
early summer opening is possible for this attraction. As as we look at the 540 Helix, you realize they put some planters in that area where there was previously just an open concrete pad. We are wondering maybe there will be a dinosaur or something there, a statue, but it's just some for some plants. Here we are back to the back of the attraction, the first half of the attraction. We have all this rock work and all the crazy track work, all these moments and uh, inversions and twists and turns goes in and up and through the rock work. It's absolutely crazy. They built in the entire segment of that first part. Where you go from the low to the or any transition to that first show scene, which is rumored to have the um, the uh, 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 Velociraptors run out of the cage like in the movie. In this segment, this is one of those viewing areas where we will be able to watch the ride go on over um, as it turns and does its magic through its initial course before it runs up into that second launch area. And here's some more theming. Here's, uh, again, the, the, you, there's the main show putting in the OB in line again. For the people in line, they have like those big windows, those big blue tinted windows. They'll be able to watch the roller coaster, the velocity coaster, launch up into the um the track and do it's getting it's crazy first course it's kind of like an intimidation period um the hype will be building the anticipation will be building and uh, maybe uh scare some last minute visitors away maybe like oh gosh this is looking up close and personal it's a little bit too scary let me walk out of this line but that is a nice viewing area while you're in line looking to waiting to board the coaster which would be super fun Speaking of viewing areas, here are more viewing areas, these times for people who don't want to go on the coaster at all, or, um, and just want to walk out, or maybe may not be tall enough, but want to see the coaster as, as well. There's two viewing areas, one that we saw in the last picture, one that we saw now, each one of them's, well, actually each one, this one's for the first launch, you'll be launching right into that M moment, the first one we saw in the last picture will actually be for that first launch, but also for the second launch, because the second launch will be launching under the first launch into that top hat. So that'll be fun and that probably will entice some people to get onto the lot get onto the ride. And as I mentioned before, this the ride has an awesome lighting package, and you'll see this is one of the lights on the fence that will be making that beautiful lighting package happen. Now some lights will be uh, uh those red blinking lights that you the red warning blinking lights that you usually see, you know. And the movies, they'll be on, I think, all day long. The other lights will be part of a special nighttime package. They'll probably be in blue, since that seems to be a theme of coaster, which is fine by me. That's my favorite color. So I'm super excited to see the lighting package. Super excited to see the coaster and the LED lighting package on the coaster as well. Cannot wait for what I'd say is May 2021, in my opinion. Especially if the coronavirus situation gets better by then, or if, or if there's a vaccine widely available to everyone, definitely think they'll stick to that early summer, maybe late spring, a late spring soft open, early summer full open uh, ride for uh, open opening for this Velocity And once again, just a final overlook at the attraction. Looks so beautiful that the cage, that cage structure that um, leads you from at the very end of the ride. The room, the raptors, uh, the fifth, the fifth and sixth raptors are rumored to be chasing you. Um, and as you head back to low, it really stands out. It's really like the first thing I noticed that there, besides the Discovery Center, it's pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of this Velocity Coaster? I cannot wait to ride it, check it out, see POVs. We'll break down the POV as it comes out, of course, because I'm most likely not going to make it to Orlando before it opens. But I'll break down the POV in a few months when it opens. And any extensive, there's some testing footage online already, but any, any extensive testing footage, we'll do a breakdown of that. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Um, like this video. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you uh, see, if you like these updates. Again, if you want some more updates, subscribe to the channel. And always have a fantastic evening.